Gotta get some trim into this. A bit bumpy for doing low level stuff, so I'll keep it up in the air. It's handling really nicely. The wind's coming over that ridge again, which means the air is very turbulent and it can be a bit tricky. A bit of high alpha stuff. This is a bit cavalier of me. Yeah, the wind's bumpy, so I can't really get a nice get it trimmed out really nicely but it's flying really nicely I haven't tried the rudder yet Let's see what happens oh yeah the rudder works <laughs> I'm just going to potter about for a bit because I don't really like it when it gets bumpy Pigeons, interceptor. Let's see if we can intercept them, but I can't see what I'm doing. Now I don't want to go over there because I lost the other Garuda. I get some interference from those. I've been flying with a bit of up trim because I like to launch an airplane with a bit of up in case it goes down. And it gives you a chance to get your hands on the transmitter because I launched them right handed. Ah, oh, this is lovely.
the KF2 uh, works nicely and the uh, fixed leading edge droops. Lovely, look at that. Oh, this is sweet. Good slow, high alpha. I don't like doing low passes with this bumpy, bumpy air because you can end up in the deck sometimes. Well, I feel as if you could anyway. That wind is really getting bumpy now. It's quite horrible. It's not a strong wind. It's just very turbulent over that ridge. So now it's time to change the battery. the brick <laughs> that's the bloody monolith you gotta move that's why I stand next to it very pleased with that excellent Garuda Mark II by Moat that's brilliant mate brilliant